German Polynesia? Home of the Hula Frows. One first class ticket to German Polynesia, please. That'll be $7,000. 7000 All I got is 75 bucks. That's only enough to send your luggage. Then, uh, just send my suitcase, bub. Here's your... Hmm, <laughs> tourists. No way to travel. Which way to first class? Now this is how a woodpecker was meant to fly. Hello. <gasps> Welcome to paradise in the skies. Whoa. Are you flying on business today? Oh, no. I'm on vacation. And, uh, call me Woody. Ooh, <laughs> you are so cute! Then, we lad, would you like a tour of my home island? Yeah? Oh, yeah! And, uh, while we're in the air, how's about you give me a tour of that buffet over there? <sighs> this is the life. <laughs> Oh, Inga, my most favorite flight attendant in the whole world. Look what I bought for you. <laughs> Woody, my little Woodla, where are you? Don't be gone long, Inga. <laughs> for the chocolates, bub. But Inga's my first class date, so hands off. <laughs> Look what I got for you, Inga. Oh, Woody, how nice. Yeah, they just had you written all over them. <laughs> Why that no good, Inga thief? Whoa! Passengers, please buckle your seatbelts. We are proceeding to take off. <laughs> no! I'm my woodpecker. <laughs> Didn't you hear, tourist? Passengers to your seat. Hey, what's the big idea? I'm from first class. Ask Inga. Inga! My biggest rule in tourist class is shut your yap unless you're eating chicken or fish. Do I look like I have all day? Get me the fish. Ha! This is Taurus class. Get it yourself, Woodpecker. Hiya, buddy. Gonna eat that? Sure. Knock yourself out, bub. I gotta get back to first class. Uh, this is the captain speaking. Would flight attendant Inga please come to the flight deck? Inga to the flight deck, please. Ready to log some frequent suspender miles, bub? Whoa! <laughs> That's no good, Woodpecker. I'll... I'll... Oof. I'll... Freeze! Just where do you think you're going, tourist? Trying to sneak into first class? Um... Uh, no. Uh, why would I even... Um, a beautiful attendant like you is right here with me. Oh, 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 oh my! Well, you know, you don't have to go to first class to be treated like first class. Escargot! Oh, yucka. I mean, yoy. You bet. But, uh, mm, I will need something to wash them down with. You just sit right there, my big pumpernickel. Back in a jiff! 
Woodpecker! Would attendant Inga please come to the flight deck at once? Yeah, your bet. Now I fix that Woodpecker. <laughs> Oh, Woody, meet me in the flight attendant's lounge? Yeah. Flight attendant's lounge? It's right there, Woodpecker. Now it's just you and me, Inga. What have I done? Ah! Oof! I want to live! Don't worry, Walrus! Our love was meant to live! My hero! We're together now and never have to fly solo again! <laughs> Welcome to German Polynesia. Now this is a vacation. This soldier's had some tough fights in the Corps, but nothing like this cold and flu. <laughs> That's right, Doc. I am so sick. Get here as soon as you can. Uh, an Antarctic Corps soldier is never supposed to leave his command post. Unless it's just too darn sick to stand up. Now that's not too comfy. <sighs> ah, Roger, we'll go over now, Bob. <laughs> yes, sirree. Bob's chicken soup will have her little soldier boy on his feet and feel ready before you can say. <laughs> hmm, that was quick. Love, Bob, Bob. Smells like penguin. Baba's chicken soup. <laughs> I gotta get to bed. <laughs> uh, that penguin's running me so ragged. I'm running fever for sure. Oh no! Gotta cool this fever ASAP! <laughs> Huh? You come back here so I can quarantine 
can do with the brick, you can take a little pig with Hmm. Perhaps this calls for a little military strategy. I'll just head that penguin off at the pass and take care of my fever at the same time. A little trick I learned in survival training. Now that's a top secret operation done right. Ah, I must be allergic to penguins. I need, I need sleep. I need medical attention. I, I, need, I need my mommy. <laughs> now that little tuxedo wearing thief won't be able to steal this hot water bottle without waking me. That's army intelligence. Huh? Thank goodness you're here. Tell me what I got. Ah! Wow! Boof! Yeah! I knew it. It got to come out, I bet. Okay. I can shake it like a show you. Hey, Doc. Are these, are these traps really necessary? Well, all right, then. Get on with it. I'll be brave. Ah! I can't watch! for you for the last two hours, Hogwash. You're supposed to be on watch command! I was, sir, but then I got so sick, and then I got a fever, and then I broke out in hives, and then this penguin tried to steal my high water bottle, and then I... Yeah. Hogwash, you're delirious with fever! Hallucinations! Hot water bottle stealing penguins? I'm ordering you back to bed! Yes, you'll do. I'll do what? Mr. Woodpecker, how would you like to make a million dollars? A million bucks? Where do I sign? Snazzy Motorcycles is proud to make you its new spokesman. And you get to ride that in the big race today. Wowee! Oh, Tweaky will never have to scam again. Not after my new motocross protege snags that million dollar contract. Hi, <laughs> uh, who's your new protege, <laughs> boys? Well, duh, it's you, Nitwit. But first, we've got to get rid of that woodpecker. Whoa. Bellissimo. Well, hello there, chump. I mean, the chump. I'm Ansel Buzzard, Snazzy Cycles Photographer of the Stars. I'm Woody Woodpecker, soon-to-be millionaire and owner of this cool bike. 
<laughs> good, good. Well, I'm here to shoot you. I need to, that is, shoot your picture for Snazzy's big billboards. <laughs> Tilt your head back. I want to expose... Ah, I mean to see your chin. Like this? That's perfect. Now watch out for the little baby. Oh, a lucky penny. Ow! What was that? Ah, probably some of your adoring motorcycle fans. Uh, let's move out of the limelight, shall we? I think I might hurt you. Oh, Mr. Woodpecker, we're ready for you on the photo set. Hey, are you sure you're a photographer of the stars? Oh, but of course. I shot them all. Ursa Minor, Canis Major, surely you've heard of them. Uh, yeah, surely. Now ride straight up that hill and we'll myrtleize you. I mean, it will immortalize you. Uh, film is forever. Unlike woodpeckers who are done for. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Do something about the flesh. Hey, there was no film in that camera. What the heck is going on around here, Bub? Uh, I must have forgot to load the film. Yeah, we'll get it right next time. This is the last shot. If you don't give me this time, I'm leaving for the race. I'll get you this time. Uh, see? Film! This quick dry and cement was pure genius, Tweaky. Now we'll get rid of this blockhead once and for all. He sure is happy for a little guy, boss. Now to dump him off the cliff and make you the Snazzy Cycles poster boy. Wow. <laughs> so, thought you could get rid of me and take my million bucks, eh? Uh, no, pal. It was nothing like you think. It was all a misunderstanding. Yeah. The race is about to begin. All entrance to the starting line. So long, suckers. <laughs>
another great skiing exhibition, folks. The great Swedish skiing superstar is just about to break the world's record. Oh, goody, goody. I love skiing, yeah. Nothing in the world gives me so much joy. <gasps> What do you think you are doing? Wondering who would watch an old-fashioned sport like skiing. Hey, was watching it. Oh, so you're old-fashioned. Get your hands off of me. You better watch it, Woodpecker. Skiing is the sport of my fatherland. Ah, uh, more like the sport of your grandfatherland. Snowboarding's where it's at. Yeah, well, skiing's the greatest sport. Snowboarding. Skiing. I still say snowboarding's the best. Can't decide on the best method to get down a frozen mountain? Then you should sign up for the Inertiathon, the all-out freestyle race to the bottom of Mount Incline Plain. It's the downhill experience of a lifetime. What's in it for you? Well, the first to reach the bottom wins 50 bucks, a year's supply of cornmeal, and a firm handshake. This will settle it once and for all, you bet. I challenge you to the race. You're on. Well, here we are with two lively contestants who hope to settle the debate of which is better. Skiing! Snowboarding! <laughs> Although there's some folk who stick to the old standby, tobogganing. Hiya, buddy. Tobogganing! <laughs> 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 Well, I guess this little difference of opinion will be settled on the slopes. Racers to your marks. Hey, Wally, your boot's untied. Hold my poles, Bootpacker. Get set. Bootpacker, my poles. Here you go. Some ski bags. If he wants to stick to skiing, I'll make him stick but good. This glue will do the trick. <laughs> skiing, I will go. Skiing, I will go. I will beat the woodpecker and make him eat my snow. <laughs> You should try snowboarding, Wally. I'm a ski. I show them a thing or two. Oof! Ah! Well, at least I landed safely. Sure showed that too, Planker. Hmm. <laughs> get through that. Oh, ogly mogly. Moguls are my specialty. Woodpecker! See you later, Wally. <laughs> yeah, hello? This is Wally. Remember that favor you said you owed me? 
Well, I want the woodpeckers taken care of. You know what I mean? Consider it done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, Swedish meatballs. Time to meet your maker, woodpecker. Get it? Meet your maker. <laughs> I crack myself up sometimes. Oh my gosh! Swedish Hitman! Oh yeah! Bye bye! <laughs> hey, how come they're laughing? Hi, buddy. Oh, goody. There's the finish line. Another great toboggan victory! How does tobogganing compare with skiing and snowboarding? I told you! The world's greatest sport is tobogganing! Nothing higher! Nothing closer to perfection! How many times do I have to tell you? Can you people get a three reds? Tobogganing rules! Oh, it's my purpose in life. We search for the truth behind the legendary fur-bearing trout. This week on Apparently We Don't Know. Fact, fiction, or just really bad fashion statement? Apparently, we don't know. Because of its hairy hide, the fur-bearing trout is only found in cold climates. It could be in northern Canada, the Arctic Circle, or even outside an igloo. Research shows the fur-bearing trout feeds on clothing to support his own fur. <coughs> the fur-bearing trout feeds on clothing to support its own fur. Yeah, it's all fun and games till somebody loses an eye with these things. Oh, and uh, thanks for the hat, bub. You gotta watch your hygiene there, bub. There's critters living down here. Can I help you there, bub? I got a business to run here. You gave up all rights to that hat when you used it for bait to try and catch me. I can't be giving it back. This ain't no lost and found. starting to get under my gills. That's the problem with this business. It's all laundry. Whites, darks, dry cleaning. A trout's work is never done. Uh, 
Trout season's over, kid. Didn't you get the memo? What a mess. Hey! Five bucks! Are you nuts? This is a genuine... Whoa! some people. Listen, Beb. I need this coat in order to run my business here. Well, since saps like you think I'm the fur-bearing trout, they try to bait me with all these items of clothing. This coat is the key to the clothing empire you see before you. Without this coat, I'm just some old trout heading upstream for a good time. So, you're gonna have to stick to your own gig, bub, and leave me to mine. See you around, small fry. And action! We thought for sure his fur amongst all this snow would make him stick out like a sore thumb, but apparently, we didn't know. Huh? Listen, bub, I thought I told you to scram. Doug Nuts is here with his film crew to shoot an expose that will broadcast tonight on an exclusive pay-per-view that will air all around the world. Operators are standing by to take your order. If they find me, I'll be ruined for sure. You know what they do to fur baron trout imposters? Well, it ain't pretty. You gotta help me, little buddy. Come on, what can I do? The coat, you're right, the coat. Take it and get out of here. Just take it. And some of these long johns, too. I'll be back, though. They can't keep Lefty the Trout out of the clothing business forever. No matter what the law says. So far, no sign of the little devil. But wait, what's that? It can't be. Ladies and gentlemen, thought to be extinct since before the Jurassic era, it's the fur-bearing penguin. Oh, uh, Mr. Penguin, wait. We'd like to ask you a few questions there. Mr. Penguin? Hello? Come on, crew. Hello? Stay on him. Stay there. A, Keep a me word, focused. Please, Mr. We'll get a Penguin. We'll reverse angle later please. on. Please. Order. Order in the court. Now, Mr. Woodpecker. Please tell us precisely what happened on the day in question. Well, there I was, Your Honor, sitting on the bench waiting for the bus. When along comes Mr. Inconsiderate and plops his oversized you-know-what right on top of me. He then threw me headlong into a tree. Luckily, a doctor witnessed the whole thing and offered his professional advice immediately. Have you recently been involved in an accident that could cause you pain and suffering for years to come? Call me. You may just get yourself a huge settlement. And that is the whole truth, Your Honorship, sir. Mr. Walrus, I hereby sentence you to nurse the plaintiff, Mr. Woodpecker, back to health. In order to ensure that you comply with the letter of the law, I appoint this man to keep tabs on you. Do you please the mole, or it's life in prison. Offered. Ouch!
Are you okay, my little bird friend and pal? Volley will take good, good care of you. There you go. Is there anything I can do for you, my little woodpecker friend and pal of mine? Wally, would you fluff my pillar? Ooh, ow, ow. There, is that better? <laughs> there we are, little friend and pal. Is there anything else that I might do for you? Well, now that you mention it, Wally, I had my doctor prepare a little list. Fresh mahi mahi? Why, that's preposterous. Oh, Wally! Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, mahi mahi isn't in season for another week, yeah. I'll have it flown in from Maui. The fumes flew the top. Magazines, food trays, big screen TV, stereo with their CD player, hot tub. That's it. Enough of this molly coddling business. There. <laughs> this should look good at your sentencing. <laughs> Wally! Hurry up! As the bread rises is almost on. <laughs> I just need a glass of water. Oh. Ah. Wally! <laughs> Yump and yiminy. Why don't you wait a moment, you big... Wally, how's about a lullaby to put me to sleep? <sighs> Okie dokie, Woody. Wally, I need something a little more soothing. Mm, maybe a little more classical, Wally. Now, uh, play them all together, Wally. Please? Wally, it's too dark in here. Wally, move the bed closer to the TV. Uh, Wally, it's too bright in here. Wally! Okay, buddy. Will that be all for now, Mr. Woodpecker, sir? Mm-hmm. If you should need anything else, simply pull this cord and I'll be here in a yiffy. Now I must go to sleep. Night, Wally. Don't go far. I may need a neck rub. <laughs> sleep. Hey, Walrus, your snoring is keeping me awake. Would you go sleep someplace else? Oh, oh and bring me a glass of tepid milk, please. Wally? Wally, what's the matter? Hey, Wally, what's the matter? So, Dr. Nuts, the whole thing was a fraud. Well, apparently I was not aware that the little fellow was faking it. But, Your Honorship, sir, I, I assure you I... Silence! In light of this evidence, I have no choice but to sentence you, Mr. Woodpecker, 
to nurse this poor, helpless creature back to health. <laughs> Be my imagination. Hmm? Now I heard something for sure that time. Now where did that spy guy go? Psst. Traveler. Me? Yes, you. How would you like a free ocean cruise? A free cruise? Hey, what's the catch? No catch. You must simply carry a briefcase. But I don't own a briefcase. How about a case of briefs? Never let this out of your sight. National security depends on it. National security? You'll sail first class. On board, you'll meet your contact. How the heck do I know this contact? Good question. You'll know her by her flaming red hair. The sooner I meet up with that redhead, the sooner I can unload this case and get on with my cruise. What do you know? The top secret case is now being transported by a total amateur. This'll be like taking candy from a baby. <laughs> Magnet ought to pull his chain real good. Oh, miss, I'm parched. Oh. Hey! <laughs> this ain't as bad as it could have been. Complimentary room service. Hmm. Today's my lucky day. He left without asking for a tip. Free juice. <laughs> Free soup. Pizza. Bologna bit sandwiches. Hey, what's going on here? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be experiencing some turbulence. Please put on your life vests. Life vests? Thank you. Red 
red-headed contact, huh? I wasn't always a brunette, you know. There she goes. Looking for me? You look, uh, different up close. It's the lights. Psst. Wait a minute. You're the spy who's after the case. Yeah, and you ain't getting away without a dance, sailor. <laughs> Hope you don't mind if I cut in. <laughs> Over. Give me the case, boy brain. Do as he says. I'm supposed to give it to you. It's not worth it. Give him the case. So long, suckers. <laughs> He's getting away. Don't worry. I've had the real case all along. You, you mean I was carrying a decoy? Well, not exactly a decoy. <laughs> That was most chivalrous to help us me, as thou didst. I grant thee ten tickets each for thy noble actions. Wow! You're the bestest, Chester. Hear ye, hear ye. Whosoever winneth the most prize tickets shall be crowned king and queen of the fair. Let the games be. the bully and that motor mouth Louie. What I tell you wooden heads I was going to do to you next time I saw you? Um, buy us lunch? Ah, uh, take us out to the ball game? Uh, no, no, no. Lunch does not seem... And, 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 and ball games, oh, I am certain it was something of a bad nature. Harm was involved, Billy. Oh, yes. Uh, possibly plucking. Nah, you said we'd go swing dancing. <laughs> yeah, but we'll take a rain check. Swing dancing is just so not me, Louie. Hey, wait a minute! Wow, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shooting gallery! I bet we can win the most points today and become king of... <laughs> now I'll show those two bird brains who's what! Load and fire, Louis. Oh. Ah! No, no, no. no, no. Ah! You know, keep shooting like that and you could be king, Louis. Ooh. Hm. I've always thought I looked good in a cape and crown. My, that's some chivalry of shooting, young archer. Twenty tickets for thee. Billy. Billy. Ready, young knights, for ye mighty log rolling competition. Okay, 
I'll keep them two moat dopes busy up top while you tip them over from down below, Louis. Billy, it is brilliant. I am in awe of your plans, struck with deep and at times disturbing amazement. Frankly, I don't really see how I thought you could do this. Remember, knights, you can only attack your opponent with your pugil sticks. When I hit you with my puking stick, you'll be throwing up things you ain't in kindergarten. Oh, is that the best you can do? <laughs> Looks like I won. I think something's going on down under. <laughs> 20 tickets for the winners! So, Louie, you wanna be king of this joint? Oh, Billy. I would love use more to my favorite pickle and peanut butter croissants if this were indeed the thing you could do for me. And now the final game. Whosoever can defeat the evil black knight, uh, me, and get into Yon Castle will receive. Ah! What happened? Was that part of the game? I don't know. Billy, you are so smart. <laughs> Ow! Oh, my nose. We ain't playing a new walk straight. It looks like Sir Chester has suddenly become Sir Fleabag. I, Sir Nuthead, will pummel and drummel the Black Knight. and gollies, not head and splinter, you win free Chester the Jester event. Twenty more tickets! No! Oh, please! Don't give them all those tickets! You can't! You can't! You can't! <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I tied you up, Chester. Shut I... up, Louie! <laughs> uh, he doesn't know what he's saying. He ate some bad fish. <laughs> I just want to be king! I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to! <laughs> <laughs> Chester, we want Billy and Louie to have our Whoa. tickets. Yeah, we're willing to forgive and forget. Oh, well, that's the most chivalrous thing I've ever seen. It. To the king's coronation! Your subjects clamor for you, Billy. I told you, I ain't coming out. <laughs> I'll get you, woodpeckers.
No McPecker has ever attempted to race this course. Until now, that is. I'll win it for you, Gramps. Wait and see. Looks like I got me some competition. Well, not for long. Ever survived that. Get out of town. It's a bright sunny afternoon. There won't be any mist on that turn today. <laughs> oh yeah? We'll see about that. <laughs> a shortcut to the mist of the moors turn. For cheetahs only. Hey, that's me! <laughs> My mist maker is pumping. And now with a little cement. I'll make this fork bank harder than geometry. Oh, that's 
on git. Hey, Great Gramps, this is for you. Lots me great grand boy. <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> Okay, Scouts, that ends our tour of the petrified forest with trees that are 10 million years old and as hard as rocks. <coughs> now, let's go see some amazing redwoods. Petrified forest that way. Hmm, I'd better go the other way. Unpack trees, and they're all for me. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, why, I feel rather strange. What am I doing in this wretched place? I'd better head back to civilization. <laughs> oh my, it's so lovely. I can't wait for all the little birdies to... <laughs> Hold it right there, woodpecker. This bird bath is not for you, so forget it. Why, I wouldn't dream of being so bold. I was merely admiring the craftsmanship. Flattery will get you nowhere. I am not cleaning up that mess of yours. I'm so sorry, dear neighbor. I had no idea I was so inconsiderate. I'll take care of that mess. I... I can't believe it. You've seen the error of your ways. Maybe now we can live in harmony. Of course we can. Woody and Wally, friends, neighbors, and brothers. <sighs> I can't believe it took us so long to see how alike we really are. Astonishing, isn't it? That's game. What? But I have never lost a game of Swedish checkers. I am the reigning champion. It was just luck, old chum. I'm sure you'll win the next game. Well, how about a more challenging game? Greased pole climbing is my favorite game. Last one to the top is a third. <laughs> almost had me. I don't get it. I always win at Swedish games. Tut tut, old boy. You're always a winner in my eyes. Oh, by the way, Wallace, you must clean and prepare for the festivities this evening. <laughs> Are you almost ready, old chum of mine? I'm so thankful for your kind invitation to the Swedish smorgasbord. I stand a good chance of winning Speed of the Year Award. I've dreamt of this moment my whole life. And now for the moment we have all waited for. The Speed of the Year Award. 
We have chosen a man of class, distinction, and character. Yeah, and the winner is... Woody Woodpecker. No, this is mistake. He is not even Swedish. It is mine. This award goes to Woody Woodpecker. He is an imposter. I am the Woody Woodpecker. No, no! I am speed of the year! I am speed of the year! Hello, doctor? Yeah, please help me. I can't stand him anymore. Yeah, well, what seems to be the problem? It's that woodpecker. He's all nice and civilized. He is ruining my life. What are the symptoms? Well, well, he, he's courteous. He cleans up after himself, and he wins at everything I do. Sounds to me like his head's all jumbled up. What you need to do is rejumble his head. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Doctor. I think I have a plan. Woody, wake up! I have a treat for you! My dear Wally, you shouldn't have. Well, civilized or not, I'm still a woodpecker. Hey, what are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Say, Woody. Would you mind raking my yard? It seems your tree has dropped leaves all over it. What? Forget it, bub. Ah, something should never change. What do you know? It's finally Father's Day. Son, tea off, Pops. No matter how crazy Dad makes me, this year, I'll be the one taking home the trophy. Boyo! Are you ready for our annual Father Son Golf Tournament? <laughs> you betcha, Pop. Rest assured, laddie. The trophy is going home with me, just like it does every year. We'll see about that, Pop. And none of your shenanigans, boy of mine. I'm going to beat you fair and square by the 18th hole. You're on, Pops. Anybody thinking of golfing should think again. There will be a major thunderstorm this afternoon. I have a feeling I'm going to get what I'm really after by the 18th hole. Now, watch how a master tees off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bad at all, Pops. Now watch this. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. oh, the love of Mike, laddie. Are you planning to whack the ball or kiss it? You're aiming to knock <sighs> its lights out, laddie. Get mad! <laughs> Let me help you. Now. No! Oh, yeah. That trophy's all but mine. Sure. If it was a trophy for best divot digger. I'm 
things as quick as Missy on dry land? Are you that out of shape, would you? Get out and about and feel the wind beneath your kilt, like a real woodpecker would. Dollfish. Oh, no, you don't. That's my ball there, boy. -o. Better stop laying about. I'm beating you, laddie. <laughs> I'll bet it's a hole in one. I'm guessing the trophy's mine. A record storm is heading our way. Golfers, be advised. Rain's coming. I'd better speed this along so we can get to the 18th hole in time. Merciful divots, that was a beauty of a hit, son. All I can say is you'll have to play the ball where it lies, boy -o. You're really in it now, son. You'll never clear these bushes. With that shot, I'm one stroke closer to the trophy. Excuse me, does this ball belong to either of you? It is not my ball. Tis an English ball. And I only use Scottish. Rude uses English balls. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't go out in a storm dress like that. Well, what do you know about that? This is no rain. It's just a mist. Play on, lad. But, Pop, the neck peckers are golfers, not swimmers. Ah, there's a wee bit of water that scares you, then. <laughs> come on, swing already. Come on, come on. Moody boy, speak to me. Speak to your old dad. <laughs> I did this to him. I pushed him too hard. I don't deserve to wear this kilt. I don't deserve this one as well, Cappy. Son, I only want you to know. Oh, thank the great kilt giver. You're all right. Is there anything I can do for you, Sonny? Well, <coughs> I might be back to my old self. If I had that trophy, Pop. Sure, sure, my sonny boy. Anything. It's yours for the year. Keep it. Really? Thanks, Pop. I got the trophy. I got the trophy. What? You weren't even struck then, eh? You were just fooling your old puppy the whole time. No! My trophy! <laughs> sure thing, boy. That'll look great on your mantle for the rest of the year. <laughs> space Cadet Nadia to Space Cadet Splinter. Come in, Splinter. I have the killer asteroid in sight. Roger that, Cadet Nodhead. We have to do something before it destroys the Earth. My Zack Zobar ace alien hunter Fomerang should do the job. Yay! We saved the Earth! Uh-oh! Ah! Beep! Come on, kids! Ah! <sighs> <sighs> 
There's only so many space missions one uncle can take. This is not gonna go on all summer, I can tell you that. Maybe you could send us to the Zach Zobar Summer Space Camp, Uncle Woody. Do you have any idea what summer camp costs these days? <laughs> 300 bucks a week? Can we go, Uncle Woody? Please, please, please. Can we, can we? Well, what do you know? I have exactly $45. Only enough to send your beaks to that camp. Perfect. 45 bucks is all I need. <laughs> then I'll have enough to go to Bora Bora. Well, hello there, sucker. <laughs> I mean, sir. Looking to send the little ones off to camp this summer? You bet. Well, at Camp Buzzard, we train youngsters to be fine, upstanding Buzzard Scouts and Space Cadets. I've never heard of Camp Buzzard. What do kids do at this camp anyway? Is it expensive? There's overhead, room and board, luxury tax, equestrian fee, and you always have to consider the end. About 50 bucks. But we're having a deal this week only. Two for 45. 45 bucks? Sold! Counselor Buzz, they're all yours. Welcome to Camp Buzzard, kids. Gee, it doesn't look like much. This is an exact replica of Planet Junko Rama. Really? Cool. Do we get camp nicknames like they do at Zack Zobar's camp? Eh, uh, nicknames? Uh, sure. You'll be 102373, and you can be 102374. That was my old nickname at camp. What kind of camps have you been to? I went to, uh, Camp Folsom. I mean, Camp Alcatraz. Uh, I mean, Camp Pokey. Yeah, Camp Hokey Pokey. Now go play. <coughs> Bora Bora, here I come. We're Bora Bored! We came here to be space cadets. Huh? Uh-oh, sure. In order to be space cadets, you gotta earn a bunch of merit badges. Here, this is for your weightless training merit badge. What are those? Anti-gravity boots? Yeah, they belong to my favorite auntie, gravity. Wait! What about seat belts? What about navigational equipment? How will we know where to go? Follow the sun. You'll be close enough. But how will we steer? That's so easy, even a woodpecker can do it. All you gotta do is pull the release pin. <laughs> We're hungry now, Counselor Buzz. Yeah, well, you know, a good Buzzard Scout space cadet learns how to survive on any planet. You gotta hunt for food. Oh boy, we'll catch a bear for dinner. Sure, a good Buzzard Scout space cadet spends hours making a trap for the, uh, I spent hours making a trap merit badge. We can cover a hole with palm leaves. Or roll a 10-ton boulder down a hill. Or string up a 50-mile net. I think they have now officially earned their sucker merit badge. <laughs> Oh, drop a boulder, yeah! Perchance, an incoming net? <laughs> when you're good, you're me. No, it couldn't be. <laughs> what are you little... Buzzard Scouts doing now? At camp, we're supposed to have rides! Like canoeing or horseback riding? Or how about a rocket to the moon? Yay! Go get your space helmets and get ready for the last merit badge you'll ever need here on Earth. Take off in T minus 10. Zero! That's one small step for woodpeckers and one giant leap towards my vacation! Planet in the name of Camp 
buzzard. Please, buddy, take him home. I'll give you all your money back. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. No please. dice. We had a deal. Forty-five bucks, and you'd take care of him for the whole summer. Please, I'll give you triple. <sighs> take everything I got. Just take him back, please. <laughs> Goodbye, Counselor Buzz. Why so glum, campers? Don't you want to go to the Zack Zobar Summer Space Camp? <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> Membership to anyone who can make a hole in one tomorrow? Oh boy, that's for me. <laughs> Hello? Yeah? A gig tomorrow? Oh joy! Better practice my tuba playing. <laughs> Better practice my long drive. You wanna tell me? Tui! What's going on around here? Sorry there, neighbor. I'll just practice in the other direction. I'll have to drive at least 300 yards tomorrow. I better see how far this bad boy can fly. <laughs> Some of my balls. Hmm. What comes in my yard stays in my yard. Ah, oh, come on. Be a sport and just give them back. I said no. Okay. <laughs> I guess you just don't have it in you. Have what in me? You can't blow hard enough on that thing to send those balls back. Oh, yeah? Watch. <laughs> What do you know? You're a real big bag of air after all. <laughs> My club. <laughs> Better get 40 winks if I want to be fresh on the links. This 
woodpecker's gonna do what a woodpecker's gotta do. I am Hans von Silencio, the greatest tuba player of all time. Yeah, I was passing by when I heard your playing. Oh, maestro, I have heard of your great... Silence! What your playing is missing is silence! You should be so good that the audience could actually fall and sleep in their chairs, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> Shh. Loves my playing. Sleep well, Mr. Hans von. Woodpecker! <laughs> uh oh! Miss me! Ha ha! Woo! There you go! Ooh, you're stupid! I get my hands on you by. Monsters up to tonight. Hmm? We're protecting the neighborhood from space aliens, Miss Meanie. Wanna help? Uh, no! And make sure you keep your aliens out of my yard. Okay, we will. Yeah, bye. You gotcha. Ow! Uh oh. Uh, sorry, Uncle Woody. We're watching out for aliens. Good night, you two. Don't bother me unless you actually bag an alien. Aliens. <laughs> ah, those kids.
Buzz Flight Gear! Yeah! Me and Zack Zobar here was in the Flight Academy together, back in the day. You know Zack Zobar? I don't remember you from any comics. Well, I'm on a very dangerous mission to fight an alien hiding out in this old house. Read all about it in the next issue, or perhaps in tomorrow's paper. Now scram! Not it! If we help Buzz Flight Gear, we could be in the next issue too! Where did he go? <gasps> the alien! No! <laughs> but hey, maybe you could help me. See, these particular baddies are using the uh, intergalactical appliance alliance to make themselves invisible. <coughs> all you gotta do to jam their invisibility frequency is to gather up all the radios, TVs, and stack them in the northeast corner of the house. Say here, by the back door. All right, go Buzz Flight here! Yeah, to affinity and beyond. <laughs> hey, not Ed. Don't aliens like to hide under beds and in dark places? Yeah, let's set a trap. We can get the radios and stuff later. <laughs> Perfect. Now let's go bust that appliance alliance. And what self-respecting penny pincher doesn't like hiding a goodies under the mattress? Sometimes my job is just too easy. So good. Help! Help me! The alien must have taken over his body. Close call, eh, Buzz? Huh? Oh, yeah, good job. Now all you gotta do is keep away from me. Ah, I mean, keep it away from me. Here, take this, and this, and take all this. Just keep yourselves busy. Make yourselves the world's most powerful alien eradicator. such thing as aliens. <sighs> now let's get some shot eye. Customer. 
Welcome to Buzzard's General Store, where our saying is, if we don't have it, buy something else. What do you need, pal? I need supplies for gold mining. Gold mining? Yeah, my great-grandpappy was Feathers Mac Pecker. Gold miner extraordinaire. And I have his secret map. Then what you need is a guide. Someone who's wood smart, knows how to pack light, and won't let you end up on dives for a bear. I come with the supply. Deal. Since I'm gonna be your guide, maybe I ought to take a look-see at that map. Sorry, it's top secret. Whew! All that hiking has made me smell kind of foul. Bath time! I'll have that map in no time. <laughs> oh, my grandpa, oh, my grandpa, oh, my grandpa, he was swell. He left to me a secret gold mine, but he told me not to tell. What a sucker, what a sucker, what a sucker in the set. I'm gonna swim up right behind you. So I can steer, I can stick it there. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Seems I've got too many hands. Hey, what do you think you're doing with that? <laughs> I guess anything you want to do with it. You seem like a very busy bear. Places to go, people to eat, Nazi around. <laughs> Now's my chance to get that map and ditch this chop. I keep the map, bub. But I'll need to see it so I know where's to let you, uh, us off. We need to get off right up ahead. Good. I'll have us there in. Ah! Ah! Oh, no! If he goes over those falls, I'm gonna lose that map. Oh, I made it! Huh? Oh, Mr. Guide! Bye-bye! The fall's not so bad. It's the bottom that'll get you. Fall! <laughs> A good guide always leads the way. The trick to getting across a rope bridge is to travel light. Okay, now throw my stuff over! Now throw all your heavy things!
gonna get this back down the trail. That gold's mine, and I'm taking it with me. You win, Buzz. You win. Just please, please, whatever you do, don't put me in that cage. Oh, please, Buzz, no! Don't leave me here! So long, sucker! Mini, it's here. I won, I won. I won, and now we'll have the fun. <laughs> hey, what's the big idea? I won, the father and the son cruise on the ocean. I won, I won, I won, I won. Hello, anyone home at the meatball residence? You don't have a son, Wally. <gasps> What I gonna do? You can be my son! Are you nuts? Oh, my little sunny boy. Fruit of my loins. Think of the swimming, the tennis, the three deluxe swimming pools. Nah, I... Swimming, huh? Und free. Oh, you can eat smorgasbord. Oh, you can eat, huh? Und these exotic port o call. Exotic ports? Wow! You will do it? Not a chance. <laughs> Wally, buddy, there's only one way I'd ever go on a cruise with you. Congratulations on winning the contest. Congratulations on winning the contest. Congratulate you, father and son? Of course we're father and son. You think I'd be with him otherwise? Oh, uh, sorry. We have to be careful. We found a fake father and son on our last cruise. But we took care of them. They spent the entire trip in the brig eating nothing but bread and water. The brig? This is stupid, Voidpecker. We're gonna get caught. Don't talk with your mouth full, Junior. <laughs> Kids. Can't live with them, can't convince them to run away with the circus. Father and son, huh? If they aren't, I'll have them in the brick by sunset. Ah, this is the life. They hate being the child. Ah, eh, quit your complaining, or next time I'll leave you home. Leave me home? This is my yeah. cruise. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, uh, time for the sunscreen, son. I think your meatball is frying. Would your son care to join the others in the pool? Little Wallace loves playing with other kids, don't you, Wallace? <laughs> Boy, you're sure big, Wally. Bet you aren't afraid of anything. <laughs> Your big chunks could sink this ship. <laughs> oh, Wallace, son, are you sure you don't want to dive like all the other kids? We want big chunks. We want big chunks. Ah, no. <laughs> this way, son. You sit here. 
Avon. This is Sam Cruz, all right, Wally. Huh? E -e Look, the space shuttle. Oh, boy, where? Must have yours missed it. Ah, who cares? They brought me a fruit drink. <laughs> Are you ready to order, sir? Am I ever? I'll take a big steak smothered in onions with french fries, corn on the cob, and something special for dessert. Yeah, me too, me too. Children order from the little sailor's menu. Um, Wallace will have a grilled cheese sandwich, an extra large helping of cream spinach, strained squash, and a big glass of buttermilk. But I don't want... Whoa, did you hear that? Sounds like my little boy has gotten a hoarse voice from all the sea air. Uh, just as I thought. My boy needs vitamins. Give him spinach. Spinach and more spinach. And for dessert, a delicious Bavarian chocolate cake. Uh-uh. Finish your dinner, Wallace. Who's the big boy who cleans his plate? I'm the big boy who cleans his plate, you bet. Yeah, but now. Uh, uh, uh. You didn't finish your whole dinner. Oh. <laughs> this was the stupidest idea you ever had. <laughs> <laughs> I should have been the papa. You're too immature. No, you are. No, you are. No, you are. No, I am. No, I am. Okay, you are. I'm sure you both love our brig. Hehehe. <laughs> love our brig. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you be the father. Figure out a way to get us home. Don't start with me, Woodpecker. <gasps> Look! We're safe! Oh, yoy! Oh. Uh, yeah! <laughs> oh, oh, no! no. Mother-daughter cruise! <laughs> Since Mom retired from the Corps. Carry on. Huh? Wait a minute. You don't look Army issue, boy. No frick frick paddywhacking way. That chow's for military stomachs only, and you're not. <gasps> the General. That is, Sergeant. But not two at ease. Military intelligence is at this moment tracking a super spy who's gonna try and steal our military secrets. I need a crack counter spy who'll use all the tricks of the trade to stop him from sneaking onto our base. Yes, sir, sir. You can count on me, sir. Sergeant, you have a non-regulation penguin on your helmet. Uh, sir, I, I can explain this. Tuxedo Boy here infiltrated the base looking for a free meal on the government of the U.S. of A. And I'm not about to let that happen, sir. <laughs> oh, that's worse than a boil on a sunburn. I think we found our operative. What? He infiltrated your perimeter, soldier. That means he's tricky, sly, and clever. But, but, General, sir. Plus, he's cute and innocent looking. 
No one would ever suspect him of being a counter spy. Oh, and best of all, he likes you, Sergeant. Carry on, Sergeant Hogwash. You train him to be a super spy by nightfall, and there's a big promotion in it for you. Fail, and you'll be cleaning latrines after the annual chili cook-off. Ah! Little grunt's gone AWOL! And he's taking my promotion with him! There'll be no towel until... Drag me the wool, drag me quick. Get out of my way. I'm gonna be sick. Pay less than one. You eat after I train you. Now, to be a good spy, you gotta have a good disguise to disguise yourself. Now, in so doing, you'll convince the enemy that you are... <laughs> the stupidest thing I've ever seen in this man's army. <laughs> huh? Where'd that little spy in disguise get to now? Mm. Little spy's learning quick. But master of disguise or no, he can't snow job the old Sarge. Time to melt this boy's snowbank. Strip search! Ah! <laughs> Chili had a little bomb whose button made it go. And everywhere that Chili went, it made the Sarge say, Wah! Ah, it's coming! <laughs> no knee-high spy's gonna get free chow on my face. No sorry. Now. A good spy's got to speak many foreign languages. So what's your native tongue, boy? Aha! You speak the universal language of food. Good. Now get fluent, boy, so as I can get my promotion from the general, then all that food can be yours. What do you say? Ah! We're surrounded! Dig in! Hey, you little stunt monkey! Come here, ya! Ring around the rosy, pocket full of posies. The spy! This is my chance for the promotion. I need a disguise. I need to parley vu in a foreign tongue. Hi -yum! I need to take this joker out, mano, a mano, a mano. No, wait, that's too many manos. Where'd he go? No problemo. A crack counter spy like me can always track his man anywhere. just given the Sarge a test. But it looks like you passed with flying colors. Flushing me out with this fine smelling chow. What a brilliant idea. <laughs> I'm putting you in charge of security around here, Chili. <laughs> security and chow detail. <laughs> The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. <laughs> Don't mind if I do, Hogwash. <laughs> Don't mind if I do.
Attention, Country Fair race fans. Sign up for today's big event, the Wild and Wacky Anything Gold Race, and you could win a $1,000 prize. Wow, a $1,000 prize? That's right. Find yourself a suitable ride and race your way to fun and fortune. Hmm, if I only had something to race. We got this race sewn up. Remember to lay back till the last turn. Tell me again why you aren't the one running. Psst, Pally, how'd you like to buy a genuine champagne racer for, say, 20 bucks? 20 bucks to win a thousand? Hey, how do I know you're not trying to cheat me? Why would I want to cheat a smart woodpecker like you? Stall 13 is where you'll find your winner. Ciao! swim with the clams, bring you floaties. <laughs> I'm starting to get an appetite for clams marinara. Hello, handsome. Say, you're good looking enough to be a movie star. How's about being my lean lady? Fresh. Yeah, <laughs> fresh from the sea. <laughs> you and me could be happy as clams together, doll face. <laughs> oh, but you know, a girl like me wants romance and flowers. <gasps> oh, Clammy, prove your love for me. Hey! Jump off Lover's Leap together. Hello, what are you making oysters in there? That clip's gotta be Wait for me, lover boy. Wait! You're that sucker woodpecker. Yep, and you're gonna ride me to fame and fortune, you bamboozling bottom feeder. Moments away from the start of the big country fair race and a last minute entry, Woody Woodpecker riding happy as a clam. And... Hey, you mangy mollusk. 
Ice got their head by a nose, nose by a head, and apples free for a dollar. <laughs> you owe me, so cry! with Grandpa's dentures behind him. <laughs> oh, and that clam is gaining. I told you I was an eating clam. And now it's time I had your hide. But we're gaining, Clammy. We can win. And you could have any dish your heart desired. Woodpecker on a spit. Or woodpecker puff pastry. Or how about wet woodpecker stew? Hey, your horseshoe's untied. Huh? <laughs> it's coming down to the wire between necktie and happy as a clam. It's neck and clamshell, neck and clamshell, neck and clamshell, neck and neck. And it's Woody Woodpecker on happy as a clam. What a race! <laughs> now that you've won the race, Woody Woodpecker, what are you gonna do next? I'm having him for dinner. <clears throat> Nothing goes better with spaghetti than clams. A thousand clams split 50-50. Eh, minus the 20 you still owe me. <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> Yep, still running my ad. <laughs> Professional babysitting service for the rich and famous. 500 bucks an hour. They must have a lot of dough stash taking care of all those rich people's kids. Looks like I've got white to do. This babysitting's gonna be a cinch! Bring on the babies, bring on the bucks, hang on nanny and a hot cha-cha! Hello, Woody's babysitting service. This is old lady Buzzard. Would you take care of Junior while I get my jewels polished? Oh boy, my first customer. Wow, that was fast. Coming! Hello? Hmm. <sighs> Whoa, heavy baby. Snacky wacky, hmm, baby wavy. <laughs> While that sap's busy, I'll find out where he keeps all his babysitting dough. Babies need lots of vitamins, but they can't eat big people food. Hmm. All I've got is big people food. Aha! Better try and take whatever I can. Hold on, little guy. I'll be there in a minute. I'm coming, big ugly baby. Here you go. Oh. Yummy, huh? Smells like baby needs a diaper change. Ah, <laughs> uh, 
fooey. I don't have any diapers. But I bet I can make some. Huh? Here's your diaper. And it's self-adhesive, too. Woo-hoo! To change diaper, take fold C to slot F, then tuck tab A into... Ah, forget it. Let's see here. <laughs> nope, that's not it. Nope again. Maybe this way. Huh, no good. There. Doesn't that feel better? <laughs> Here, baby. You play nice with the little rattle while I catch up on the morning news. Sandwiches, hot broth, and all my buddies. <laughs> Hiya, buddy. No! closed. Yeesh. Hey, hey, watch it. You can poke an eye out with that thing. Ready to fish, boys? Come on, let's get out of this ice box. A special message from Clive's Cut Rate Bait. Are you hungry? You got the hook in a paw? Well, if you can't catch your next meal with Clive's Cut Rate Bait, you can't be caught. And if you're not satisfied with Cut Rate Bait, 
send it back and I will send you some bigger or better kind of bait absolutely free until you catches a fish. Allow me to introduce you to the items in your starter kit. First, our cut rate bait catalog, and next, my genuine fish fly larva, and finally, my trusty incubator. First, you ought to put them critters inside so they can mature properly. Now you ought to teach them flies tricks so as they can get the fish's attention and lure them your way. <laughs> Next, you ought to feed them critters so as that they grow big. Now you are ready to catch a fish with these here flies. No, please! You raised us! You fed us! You taught us to do this! <laughs> Don't give us the hook! Oh. Here. Who do you think you are, huh? Don't interrupt me. I mean, hello in there. Do you see a pattern here? Like something to do with the bait? Look at the catalog, page 12. Each time you send a bait back, you get a bigger piece of bait, right? So send me back and Clive will send you a bigger bait fish. One big enough to eat. Get my drift? And if you're not satisfied with cut rate bait, send it back and I will send you some bigger or better kind of bait absolutely free until you catches a fish. Another return? Oh, uh, who is this chilly guy anyway? He's breaking me. Every bait I send him, he sends back. I've gone through every darn bait I know. Hey guys, huddle up! Break! Only bait left is penguin. He can use it for catching a whale. Only I'm fresh out of penguin. <laughs> Boy, there's nothing more satisfying to me than a satisfied customer. We have returned! But what's wrong? Well, you fed us when we were little, so we can return the favor. Right, boys? Remember what you taught us? Watch this! Oh, man, oh, man. Another rainy day. 
<laughs> All this rain will stop as soon as I get my weather control check. Yeah, you bet. One weather check for Mr. Wally Walrus. Oh, joy. Rain, rain, go away. The ball is gonna make the sun today. Sunny side coming up. Nah. Fun in the sun, here I come. It's working, it's working. Fun groovy volleyball at pool party coming up. An invitation. Pool party at Wally's, yeah. No, pool party at Woody's, yeah. <laughs> Woodpecker. I showed that soiree stealing Woodpecker a thing or two. Check me out, everybody. I'm gonna try a double half gainer. Ah. With a twist. <laughs> <laughs> now, where is that no good party thief? Aha! <laughs> hey, everyone. Plenty of fun and sun over here. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a dance party. What's that? Those are Swedish meatballs. I boiled them myself. Care to bob for Swedish meatballs? Ew! Gross! Hey, you guys! Why don't you come to a real swinging pool party? Come on, let's go. <laughs> I bet the hay vain! Listen, you meddlesome fowl. Those are my party guests. Ah, uh, cool down, Wally. <laughs> Woodpecker. Now, uh, I'll go get cleaned up, and I'll be back before you can say, Who is that handsome wood a pecker? Now that you're cleaned up, I'll help you dry off. <laughs> dry off. Sunny and beautiful in the Southland, with the highs of 89 degrees in the valley and 92 degrees in the downtown area. <laughs> what the? Mm-hmm. Never 
saw a chicken coop where the chickens weren't a squawking. <laughs> Explaining what's going on here, buddy? You destroyed my party, and now I'll destroy you! Oh! 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 <laughs> and now to shake things up a bit with a little earthquake. <laughs> no good, dirty. Shut him down or my name is... <laughs> you throw the best parties. Here's my lift ticket, Woody. about taking a trip some when. Some when? That's right, chum. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Buzz Buzzard, scientist, PhD, MD, I O U. And this here is my esteemed colleague. Professor Tweaky the Wacky, E-I-E-I-O. We would like to offer you a trip no travel agency can provide. A trip back in time. Yeah, we'll take you anywhere in time for, say, a hundred bucks? Nightly times. Prehistorical times. Space times. Cowboy times. Slap some chaps on me and call me Pappy. We're going to the Old West. Partner. What do I get to do once I'm there, partner? Well, do? Why, uh, One-Eyed Jack, baddest Don Braid there ever was, is gonna rob a bank. And you get to try and capture him for the reward. What are we waiting for? We are now traveling through time. Quick, give me one western town, Tweaky. That's the Titanic sinking. Ooh, we're back in the Ice Age now. Watch out for the mastodons. Whoa, look out for the stock market crash. Welcome to the Wild Wet. I mean, West. Towel fee, 20 bucks. A towel's not included? I'm afraid everything is a la cash. <laughs> oh, boy. I can't wait to capture... Huh? Well, I'll be hogtied. I'm gonna capture a bad guy, all right. It won't be one-eyed Jack. But first, I'll make those two vermits wish they'd never met Sheriff Woody. Hey there, sod busters. You got any idea where a dude can get a fast horse in this town? One fast horse coming right up, Sheriff. Oh, hey, why do I gotta be the horse? Just get out there, and when he gets on you like this... Ah! 
Oh, there's discomfort. You start bucking. The faster you dump him, the faster he'll want something else we can stick him for. <laughs> One horse, 50 bucks. <laughs> for some honky-tonk music. Sure, pal. Honky-tonk tunes is what the Old West is practically known for. So, you distract him with your charm and disgrace. Then, I'll shove him into the player piano, grab his wallet, and we'll get out of this cowboy con. There's just one problem. What's that? Well, this bonnet clashes with these shoes. Get out there. You must be the new sheriff. Play me something fast and lively. trap to capture that boy and take his wallet once and for all time. I'm way too good at this. <laughs> <laughs> See that big X? That's where I buried the dynamite. <laughs> and when the woodpecker gets there, I let him have it a lot. Oh, I got it, boss. Hey, woodpecker, this here town ain't big enough for the both of us. I thought exactly, one-eyed Jack. You ain't exactly the shiniest lure in the tackle box, are you, Woodpecker? Now, Tweaky! Oh! Yeah! <laughs> nice job, Woodpecker. We've been after these two for a long time. I guess it's true what they say, officer. Time doesn't pay. <laughs> <laughs> That car chase had more twists than a mutated pretzel. Oh, being a detective would be so exciting. Now you're taking the fall, little lady. The clues tell me the real killer is someone with huge ears. <laughs> a long nose. <laughs> and he's prone to drooling. The perp was under my nose the whole time. You're taking the fall. A bell went off, and I knew there was no way this pooch was the pilferer. Because for a canine, he's actually about a K2. I opened the door to a guy who looked like he'd just been hit by a truck full of handsome. Pardon me, ma'am. Do you want a vacuum cleaner? He was no slouch in the sweet talk department, either. A vacuum? Uh, sure, I have one, but it's in the shop. Sorry to bother you, then. Say, are you part of the Neighborhood Patrol Program? Uh, yeah. Some nut job's been stealing vacuum cleaners in the area. Oh. I could help get the word out. 
Leave it to the professionals, ma'am. I was in the mood to return videos without rewinding them. Drink milk right out of the carton a day after the expiration date. Oh. It took some convincing. The Chandler saw the light. Winnie P.I. was on the job. First thing I did was plaster the town with flyers. <laughs> Deputy Dizzy, go to the other side of town. I'll whistle if I need backup. <laughs> now, to find out how this vacuum cleaner crook's mind worked. This crazy woodpecker was nosing into my business. She made me want to scream louder than a yodeler in tight underwear. I told Chandler the best P.I.s always nose around the scene of the crime. We're here to ask you about your stolen vacuum cleaner, ma'am. Where were you on the night of... <clears throat> I'll have this, Red. Get a clue. Ten four, Chandler. I'm on it like gum on a sidewalk. Don't mind the mess. I'm dusting for clues. <laughs> I figured I'd dust for prints. It's a dirty job. Mostly because of the dirt. Give me that. Go secure the crime scene. My partner was feeling the pressure. We needed a break worse than an out-of-work orthopedic surgeon. Suddenly, I had what might be a clue. Unfortunately, it turned out to be a footprint. By the looks of things, the crook was either an enormous centipede with hundreds of feet, or a man who walked with two shoes on. I decided to trace his every move. What we had here was a sweet tooth vacuum cleaner thief with size eight W's. <laughs> Let's have a look at the closet where you kept the missing vacuum. What day is today? Uh, three. Where do you live? Ten Amp Street. Give me that. So, with my partner out on the mend, I was left alone for a stakeout. I found the perfect bait. The TurboVac 200 on a lure out beef. I wasn't at your house for any neighborhood patrol. I was casing your joint red to steal your vacuum. But the neighborhood patrol posters. I was taking them down. But you got some cockamamie idea I was the law. <gasps> Who are you? I own a cleaning service. Business was so bad, I figured... If you steal all the vacuums in town, business will skyrocket. But then you had to stick your nosy beak into things. 
I want you to know, mister, whatever you're thinking, you can just forget, because you're taking the fall. Oh. Oh. Yeah, this Chandler character was slicker than the shine on a freshly licked lollipop. But we stuck to the case like glue and got our man. The streets were safe once more for vacuum cleaners everywhere. Winnie P.I. and Deputy Dizzy were on the job. <laughs> Woohoo! Today's the day I get my latest installment from the Golden Gizmo Club. I wonder what it's gonna be. <laughs> hmm. An oil dowser? Just point and follow. Your oil dowsing gizmo will find oil anywhere. I'm gonna be red. What are you doing? It's not me, Wally. It's my dowser. It finds oil. See? Yeah, sure. My motor oil, you crazy food packer. Now take your silly stick and... Hey! <laughs> Oh, yoinky doinky. Not my Swedish cooking oil. We gotta get out of here, man. We're covered in oil. <laughs> What's it doing? It's looking for more oil. And when it finds some real Texas crude, I'm gonna be rolling in dough. Ooh, it's for that kind of oil. Let me add that stick. It's mine! <laughs> it's going after the cod liver oil. Come back! Taxi! Follow that stick. Make a deal with you. Yeah, what kind of sneaky woodpecker deal is this? Nothing sneaky. Tell you what I'm gonna do. You help me get that dowser, and we'll split everything 50 50. Hmm. Okay. It's a deal. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> Come here, my little dowsing stick. Look what Uncle Wally's got for you. Oof. Don't worry, Wally. You'll be packed and ready to go in no time. See ya. <laughs> what kind of partner cans his other partner? Okay, 
TNT. Truce, Wally. I give up. No more Mr. Greedy Pants. What's mine is yours. And yours is mine. <laughs> Wally! Look! Wally! There's oil down there! Oh, ho, 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 ho. There must be oil on my property. It's clearly on my side of the property, bub. Ten feet by, mm, 20 yards. By Yingo. This satellite proves it. The oil is definitely on my property. I'll dig on my side, and you can dig on yours. Oh, haven't I just had enough of your shenanigans? Yes! <laughs> he hit something, yeah? Ya? Yeah. Yeah. Stand back! Going to Let's buy retreat. a pony. But. Ah! Arrest them both! What did we do? Oh, not much. You just busted into my company's oil pipeline, blew out about a truckload of oil, creating an environmental hazard. Is that enough? This is all your fault, Woodpecker. My then pop. I get Don't my give me that. You weren't <laughs> Package for three seven two five five seven six. Oh boy, it's from the Golden Gizmo Club, Wally. How to turn rocks into gold? Oh no, you don't. Haven't you learned your lesson? Hey, quit it, quit it. I'll share with you, Wally. <laughs> don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> I'm hungry, and I'm getting rickets in my stomach a lot. Oh! Wow! Ooh! Breakfast. Stay out of sight. Wonder how my golf hero, Panther Irons, did yesterday. Four! Panther Irons gets five hole in ones. Woohoo! I bet with a little practice, I could score five hole in ones. Whoa! <laughs> I should have used an iron. Oh, oh, Tweaky, I just figured out our next con. Come on. Wow! Hey, chum, how would you like to play a charity miniature golf game with the Great Panther Irons? Charity miniature golf? Uh, the champ's in town for a special exhibitation game, and uh, anyone who beats him gets uh, a spot on the pro tour. Oh, I'm Panther. Hear me roar a lot. Wow, Mr. Irons, I'm your biggest fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, the game's down at the miniature golf fun park, so... Woohoo! What are we waiting for? Wait! There's a small matter in a $50 entrance fee. 50 bucks for miniature golf? Yeah, but do you see, if you win, you get to double your money back, sport. Yeah, now, uh, why don't you go get yourself a putter? Come on, Tweaky, let's scram. Huh? Attention! Puttonstone Park is proud to have champion Panther Irons playing here on our course. Whoa, fun! And five and such. Oh, uh, sorry, uh, Panther has to go uh, uh, put on his game face. Oh, more grabbing. Ugh, now we're in them photos, you feta brain. The only way out of this is to play that dumb woodpecker. Oh, Mr. Irons! 
You should do the honors. I'll be right with you. But, boss, I don't know nothing about playing golf for real. Yeah? Well, you should have thought of that before you hammed it up for that peanut gallery back there. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that. Wow! Guess that's why you're the champ. <laughs> Fixing this match is gonna be a cakewalk in the park, Twiggy. Uh-huh. Yep. Okay, sweet. You got me on that first hole, Mr. Irons, but I know exactly how to play this one. Oh, look, this guy writing our names. Oh, just to keep looking up a lot, please. Oh, the wind must have blown it away. Fame is so fleeting. Hm. Something's fishy, and it's not the tuna I had for lunch. Let's see. The score is Tweaky, I mean Panther, uh, eight holes in one, and Woody Woodpecker, uh, well, a whole lot of shots. Who cares? You wouldn't want to write home about it anyways. The shot's loaded, Tweaky. Just tap it and let the rubber band do the rest. How oh, Ivan for? Impersonate my favorite golfer. Medley, the world famous mountain climber, and I am determined to be the first individual to conquer Mount Everest, the world's tallest mountain. These here high tech gadgets are gonna help me climb where no climber has clumb before. Mmm, mmm, and the 
there's nothing like warm homemade soup to give a climber pure energy to make it to the top. <laughs> Only a skilled climber like myself can endure these high, high altitudes. Hmm, <laughs> the air must be getting a mite thin. If I didn't know better, I'd think I was suddenly carrying extra weight. Huh? Well, I'll be a rival climber. You think you can beat me to the top by eating my soup and starving me off this here mountain, little fella? Well, guess what? Your scheme is not a gonna work. Conniving <laughs> little penguin, ain't he? Gimme! Now, this mountain ain't big enough for the both of us, small fry. I'll be climbing up that mountain, yes, I will. Yes, I... Huh? What the... Yay! Now, hold on one hand grip, stealing minute. Uh-oh. Huh? That little fella is not gonna beat me to the summit. Uh-oh. I'm gonna get you, you little cliff climbing soup napper, you! Oh! Phew! A professional climber knows there are good climbing days and bad climbing days. This is shaping up to be one of the latter. My food, you mountainside saboteur, you! <laughs> hmm, pretty loose snowpack for this high altitude. But my vast knowledge of the latest high-tech equipment has prepared me for any condition. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see that little old amateur beat me to the top now. A seasoned climber knows how to listen to the sounds of the mountain. Hmm, that's not the wind. <laughs> hey, how did you get up? <laughs> but what a seasoned climber knows most is when it's time to clobber the competition. <laughs> <laughs> Yup, almost to the tippy top. And this here gadget from the Climber of the Month Club is gonna get me up there before that penguin for sure. Huh? What gives? Whoa! Oh no, you don't! I'm getting to the top before you, you little. Uh oh. Yay! <laughs> Oh, no, little fella. That's not gonna work on me. A pro like Snow Peak Smedley knows you never, ever look down. <laughs> when nearing the summit, it's very important to be quiet as a snow mouse. Any noise could trigger a dangerous avalanche. Whew! It's a good thing you don't talk much, neither. You might have snowed us under an avalanche. Huh? I 
Duke! I've had it with you, ruining my ascent, destroying my equipment. Stay away from me! Ugh! Yes, folks, we're about to check in on Snow Peak Smedley's world record climb up Mount Neverest. Wow, this is news, folks! The world famous climber Snow Peak Smedley has conquered Mount Neverest. Wait a minute, that's not Snow Peak Smedley, it's a penguin! <laughs> You've just become the first individual to reach the summit of Mount Neverest. What are you gonna do now? survive the world's scariest vacation, but to win my Mega Macabre prize package, could you... What are you up to? Uh, nothing. You know, you spend far too much time glued to that TV. Well, I'm taking you away from here, someplace where there are no TVs. Our next contestant, who will get to spend one whole night in a haunted castle on Burnberry Hill, is... Woody Woodpecker. Woohoo! I get picked! I get to go to a haunted castle with vampires and ghouls and ghosts and... Uh, I gotta find someone to go with me. Let's go, Woody! Bingo. Wow! What a great idea, Woody! Where'd you hear about this quaint old place? On TV. How about, uh, but it's real old-fashioned, Winnie. Not a TV in the joint. Uh, uh, you check in. I'll park. Welcome to the world's scariest vacation, Woody Woodpecker. We've rigged that castle with hidden cameras to tape all the horror as you try to survive one night in Burnbury Castle. <laughs> the mega prize package is still safe, Iggy. We'll scare these woodpeckers out before the sun sets. <laughs> What's it take to get served around here? Woody! Ghost! Stop it right now, Woody! You're not funny! Oh, go check those woodpeckers in. I'll handle the spookum. Yeah, uh, uh, Winnie, on second thought, maybe we ought to go somewhere else. Oh, don't be ridiculous. I like this old place. We're staying the night. Oh. <laughs> this should scare those birds right out of their tail feathers. <sighs> maybe a good long book will calm my nerves.
Nobody ever survives a horror double whammy. <laughs> you go in through the balcony, I'll go up through the bedroom door. Uh, uh, Woody! Stop trying to scare me, Woody! of those woodpeckers before. Ha, <laughs> ha, 